Now for our loincloth piece and uh, little shreds, we're going to um, we're going to analyze this here real quick. We're going to talk about what elements we need. We're going to need some sort of thing that holds it there, like a belt, you know, some sort of um, rope or whatever. And we'll we'll probably just use a uh, a ring, 3D uh, primitive to get that going, and then also we'll put um, something that goes all the way around his waist and then we'll do some masking. So let's just hop over and do it. Alright, here's our guy, our guy again. He's a little bit uh, different than you saw last time I raised his head. Finally. It's been probably a long time coming for that. Adjusted the, the uh, elbow knots. I just moved it down a little bit on the uh, on the actual uh, strap itself and adjusted everything. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and add, and we'll do this. Let's do this beneath the eyes. I'm going to use the insert, insert ring 3D. Let's go find him. There he is. There we go. Transparency mode. You can kind of see. Make sure we're on symmetry mode. There we go. We'll notice this thing's just a little bit too uh, too flat, and that's because or too fat, not too flat. <laughs> Wrong choice of words. Um, so let's just go hop over to one of our little rings here and we're gonna make a um, we're gonna make a new one we're gonna adjust the radius we'll make it a we'll make it a two okay and then we're just gonna make that a poly mesh go ahead and not duplicate let's go ahead and um, delete is what I meant to do now insert and we'll go find our PM3D ring 3D one there he is. Turn on my um, symmetry. Just getting everything rotated into s to the spot that I want. Okay, now we can go we can look at this guy. Just gonna pull on it a little bit, get it in the right spot. Let's look over here. It's right below his his abs here. It looks like it's pretty much on. Let's do something here to tie his tie his arms so you can see. There we go. Move it slightly below this uh, section of his waist. Pull out. Actually, yeah, let's redo that one and then we'll zoom back. I'm just going to gradually bring it up a little bit. And we could probably just just done this with a mask off the body, but this is a little bit cleaner this way. We have a some cleaner geometry to work with. If we zoom in, you can see the the um, faces look pretty good. And they're long, but at least they're not all um, all over the place because of a mask. So all good there. This is all mostly going to be covered up anyway with the loincloth. We just need something to kind of give us a start. that in. Just kind of checking the gap in between, making sure it's not too crazy. This thing has actually got to stay on his body. Which is why you see me kind of hooking it above this little groove. Give it something to sit on. 
at least that's the, that's the uh that's the theory I'm going with all right, so we'll just call this um coin cloth belt and now we need to uh get the actual loincloth built. So let's just duplicate it. Let's try something out here. I'm going to do a little bit of deformation. Let's see, looking at our choices. Let's try to go with the size one. Oops, I accidentally did that. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure any of those are going to work for our purpose. I'm just let's just delete it. And let's go ahead and add or actually let's go set up another um primitive. Let's see, circle 3D. basically going to create let's do a cylinder instead there we go that's what I wanted the circle 3d wasn't going to give me the uh, the extrusion so that's not what I wanted. So this is what I want. I need something that's got just some thickness to it. So I'm gonna bring it up to I don't know 98 or so. Okay. Taper top. Hmm. That might come in handy, I suppose. Maybe not. Let's just leave that alone. All right. And everything else is pretty square. Needs to be a little bit longer though. So let's just make it 50 and 50. Maybe uh, 65, 65. Something like that. Okay. Make poly mesh. Top back to our main guy here. Insert. PM 3D, cylinder 3D. Again, we'll find them right there in the middle. We'll rotate it. Scale it up a little bit. So basically at this point we're just trying to like manipulate this thing at the end, into its spot. Let's get the general shape somewhat correct. And we'll just um, generally get this okay because we're going to do some other stuff that's really going to give us the shape of uh, the cloth. Let's see how far it goes down. Pretty far, so let's pull down all that. Pull this out, just generally speaking. Pull that straight down. Hopefully you get the idea of what we're doing here. We're just trying to create something that will uh, give us a good starting point for a, a mass a mask operation here. All right, so happy with that. I'm going to divide it a couple times. Continue to adjust it just a little bit more. Alright, let's turn off that thing. 
I'm going to divide it two more times. Let's see how a mask looks on here. All right, so now I'm basically just going to paint on where I want the skirt type loincloth stuff to be. We know we wanted it to kind of hang pretty low, just about below his knees. And we can always adjust that with, uh, later on too. Just like everything else, you can always adjust most of these operations later. So I'll pull off some, some strands just to get the conversation started. I'm going to keep it symmetrical for now. Not too worried about that quite yet. Trying to get some interesting shapes. I'm just use my control uh, key and just stroking with the brush. Just painting a mask. Nothing to it. So some of this is going to change. The spacing is a little bit different than I'm painting it here. So let me I'll just try to do some of that now. All right. I think that's working pretty okay. Let's get a little bit more cut in up top there. All right, it's going to sharpen it a couple times. And let's see how it looks. Let's go with a two on that, and then a two on that. Point zero zero five, and extract. Not exactly matching. So I'll turn that one off, go back up, and we'll try it again without a s edge smooth. Yeesh. It's not horrible actually. Let's just go try to polish it, see what happens. Alright, back up to the source. Let's just go like that. Well, that's interesting. We got a double layer going on. Not what I was wanting, so let's just get rid of uh, the extra stuff. And delete hidden. Let's do an auto groups. 
Oh, not sure it's going to let me do that. It's all one group. One way to fix that. So let's go here and uh, delete that. Let's look at this guy. So we have an inner face painted here. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to hit the control key, hit the back face mask. I'm just going to paint all this out. Because now it's protected. It shouldn't do that effect again. And then we'll re extract it. And it should give us the uh, solution without the uh, back faces. Try to do a pretty good job of trying to clean up this mask so it doesn't give me any artifacts. Okay. Now, let's go for this thing here. Oh, wait, I'm already there. Let's turn off that too. Extract. Deformation, polish. Get some weird little bubbles there as for me not clearing out the mask entirely. Not a big deal. We'll get rid of that by doing this number. Delete hidden. Auto groups. Control click on the object I want to keep. Delete hidden again. And now we have exactly what we want. Just need some sculpting love. I'll keep the source just in case I'm not too happy with it. Later on I can just derive some more stuff from it. Actually, I do that because I still need to do all this stuff here. All right, turning symmetry on. I'm going to go in here and just taper up these little bits. Make them more strand-like. All right, at this point, we can just start sculpting it out getting it to be exactly what we want it to be. Let's go ahead and save this out.